Unfortunately, one of the most popular YouTubers on the planet now says he has cancer. Ninja made the, making the announcement this morning on social media. Now, he says he went in for just an annual skin checkup, and one of his moles came back as melanoma. His doctors, though, are optimistic. They believe they caught it early enough. Ninja has nearly 24 million subscribers on YouTube, and you can tell there from that video of him, it's a pretty young guy. Now, Ninja's announcement comes on the heels of two other high-profile cancer diagnoses of people under the age of 50, Kate Middleton, you remember, and actress Olivia Munn. A recent article in Time Magazine is now pointing to a jump in cancer cases in young people. So what could possibly be the reason? Well, joining us to talk about that is Dr. Connie Lee, a breast surgical oncologist with Dignity Health St. Mary right there in Long Beach. And Dr. Lee, thanks so much for joining us. This Time article cites a study that estimates the number of early onset cancer cases could increase by 30% worldwide by, I think it was 2030. Does that surprise you? No, unfortunately it does not. Me and my colleagues across the country have seen an increase in younger patients, meaning patients under the age of 50, being wow. diagnosed with cancer. And it is quite concerning, absolutely. And what do you uh, think, I know it's very complex, right? What causes cancer? We still don't know precisely, but it's lifestyle, it's diet. Uh, wh what do you think the primary reason is for this sudden increase? Absolutely, I think it's a uh, multi, very complex with multiple factors involved. Certainly there's more processed foods in the environment. Um, a lot of my patients and across the country, there's a rise in obesity uh, led by not enough time, not enough exercise, increased alcohol consumption. And in terms of my area of expertise in breast cancer, uh, mm -hmm. One of the protective factors is actually giving birth at the age of less than 35. And worldwide, we're seeing women having children or choosing not to even have children at a later age. So um, all, I think it's multifactorial. Mm -hmm. And in addition, we have significant advances in our technology. So we're able to catch cancer at much smaller sizes, much earlier stages. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's definitely multifactorial. You know, those are so many things that we talked about. We hear it all the time. If you had to name just one thing as being the most important, uh, the most important thing you can control, what do you think that would be? Would it be diet? Would it be exercise? What is the most important thing? I think it's knowing your body and actually getting screened. Um, mm -hmm. Lots of my patients, because of multiple factors, family, emergencies, whatever the case may be, put off their screening mammograms. Um, but I urge everyone in the community, go get screened when you're supposed to. So for women over the age of 40, we recommend starting your mammograms at annual, um, annual event. So go get your mammograms. For men, definitely get your prostate screened. For colonoscopies or colon health, definitely get your colonoscopy starting at the age of 50. So if we catch mm -hmm. it early uh, with all of our advancements in treatment, it's very treatable. Yeah, you know, you're, you're right. So there is this rise now in younger people, but we are catching it more and more early, right? Do you feel yeah. that the prognosis, prognoses for this is uh, getting better as well as we uh, keep dealing with cancer for all these decades? Absolutely. The um, prognosis for early stage cancer is greater than 90% if caught early and treated early. Um, and since that's my area of expertise, I can't really speak to other cancers, but I do know that if caught early, they are very treatable. Well, that is some good news in all of this. I really appreciate it. So eat better, exercise, if possible, have children earlier and do screening, right? Doctor? Absolutely. Dr. Connie Lee, thank you so much for joining us. It's valuable information and information that everyone needs to keep hearing. Thanks again.